Hi mommies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Danny, and this is First Time Mommy in case you're new here. Here on this channel, we talk about all things mom life, motherhood, pregnancy, postpartum, babies. So if you are a mom yourself or a mom-to-be and you can relate to some of this content, then probably you should subscribe to this channel and hit the bell sign so you don't miss any of the video. Today in this video, I'm here to talk about these Dr. Brown's anti-colic bottles, give you my honest review about them and my experience using them. And yeah, let's get started. So if you're a mom to be who is currently baby shopping, you've probably heard about these bottles or probably you have not. Dr. Brown's is such a popular brand, not just for bottles, but for other baby products as well. So these Dr. Brown's bottles have been reviewed to be the best bottles when it comes to colic, the best anti-colic bottles on the market by experts, pediatricians, expert moms. Everyone said these are the best anti-colic bottles. And the reason why I got them is because another mom friend swore by them and said they were the best for colic and I should get them. And that was why I got them, right? So the thing is, lots of babies experience colic. Not everyone does, but lots of them do. And this is just a great way to prepare yourself in case your baby has those colic issues. So these bottles have um, a particular system on the inside that is supposed to help um you know with the gas and with colic while your baby is drinking from them it doesn't matter if it's breast milk or if it's formula but it has this bottle system and these are some of the things that help to you know regulate the flow of gas into your baby's mouth and into his stomach even i actually started my baby on these bottles from the very first day and even when i was breastfeeding i was giving him breast milk that i would pump through these bottles so he started with this from day one and even though he was using these bottles he still had um colic pain for weeks and weeks on end even though he was being breastfed even though i was using these anti-colic bottles we still experienced colic pain so i'm not sure this is a hundred percent um guarantee that if you use these bottles you will not experience colic no i don't think that's the case in some babies probably but in my case we still experienced colic pains okay so probably the bottle did their part but it wasn't enough to do everything the thing i have to say about these bottles is that there are so many parts as you can see there is the main bottle part there is this which divides into this okay there is this there's a nipple of course so it's just so many parts and in my opinion that is a lot of parts to wash to sterilize and also to assemble especially when the baby is hungry and fussy and if you have a newborn you know how sometimes they're very impatient when it comes to their food and then your baby is crying on one side you are going crazy on the other side all the bottle parts are not adding up it's like ah <laughs> I've seen some moms online talk about how they hate the the bottle parts like why are they so many the thing that i did is after the colic stages passed i honestly stopped using these parts so what i do is like i just put my milk in, in here and just feed him you know directly i stopped using these i just kept them away in storage so that i could just have peace of mind third thing i want to say about these bottles is uh, as my baby grew older, he kind of started rejecting these bottles. I couldn't understand why because he had been taking them for so many weeks, months. But then he started rejecting them. And no matter how much I tried, he wouldn't take them. So one night I was really frustrated and I decided to give him another bottle I had, which was the Lantino one. And he took it. He loved it. And I just felt like probably at that time, these nipples weren't as comforting for him as the other ones. The shape of this one is very different to the other one the material as well so i think that was the situation but after a month or weeks or a few weeks he started taking these ones again so it was just like a phase for him overall i say these dr brown bottles are okay i haven't tried so many bottles to compare them to but i would say one thing is that it can be a bit bulky especially when you want to carry multiple bottles with you if you're going out with your baby when i carry just two of this you can see how 
you know big and bulky they are they fill up so much space meanwhile there's some other bottles on the market that even though they are the same size and take the same amount of milk the bottle design is kind of more small and compact and a bit more portable a good example will be the tommy tp bottles and the komotomo bottles if you notice they are really short bottles but they carry just the same amount of milk but they're short and small and just better to carry around these ones can get really bulky so in case you're thinking of getting these bottles i'd say go for it i got mine in like a bottle gift set so it came with one of the the smaller ones which takes up to five ounces and two of the bigger ones which takes up to nine ounces it also came with a dr brown's pacifier a teething ring and a bottle cleaner so let me know if any of you moms have used dr brown's bottles before you know, even if not this one they have so many other bottles they have the glass bottles and let me know which other bottles um might be better when it comes to colic or you know, maybe to take a bottle let me know if it worked for you because i'm pretty sure it hasn't worked for everyone did we have the same um, challenges with these bottles what do you think about the numerous parts let me know all that in the comment section and yeah if you find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell sign so you don't miss any videos from me i'm on instagram and i'm on tiktok danny's underscore blog follow me on there and i'd love to connect with you guys Bye.